Hello, my name is Norberto de Angelis, and today I am living a second life. In my first one, I used to play football and won the European Championship with the Italian national team. I had everything, and I decided to spend some time giving back by going on a mission to Africa in 1992. During that mission I had a serious car accident. I was in a coma for about two months, and I was paralyzed from the waist down. Since then I've been living a second life. I still play sports, and I've started riding a hand bike. In 2009, with the sheer force of my arms alone, I traveled the entire length of Route 66 in the USA, 3,798 kilometers from Chicago to Los Angeles, in 80 days. Today I have taken up a new challenge, crossing Tanzania from west to east, 750 kilometers over rough roads, to send the message from Africa to Europe that a disabled person can be the hero of his or her life and show solidarity with others. Most of all, I want to say to people with disabilities, you can do it. a big lesson of feeling pity to those who are disabled. Thank you for teaching us that kind of heart. First time we've uh, had uh, a disabled uh, cyclist uh, or actually dealing with a disabled person. This is our first experience uh, as a team, as a company. I've started knowing Nobeto a little bit more after a few days. He's a man with lots of spirit, uh, lots of courage. 
he's pushing us a lot on the downhills. He's going really fast and I think everyone is trying to catch up with Norberto. He's got his eyes focused. He's an athlete, uh, determined uh, athlete. And the amount of spirit that he has given to people uh, in the villages that we've passed by, in the orphanages that we've passed by, uh, in the disabled homes that he has passed by, to me personally and to my team in general, that new discovery that uh, it's possible whatever you have once you put your mind to it once you set a goal it's possible to achieve very much concerned with the uh, people with disabilities and I've been working with the people with disabilities since 2006 and uh, I've seen their ability to be in the society and to contribute uh, positive change towards society. So I was very concerned on that but also uh, was a good challenge in a positive way to show that uh, once this trip will be successful we'll show that uh, everything can be done but also the whole idea of like uh, giving people with disabilities. It can be a resource for uh, others. And for those who are, who, are, who are not disabled, must understand that it might happen tomorrow to be disabled. Exactly. As what happened to our fellow friend here. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm here for that. And most of the time you learn from them as well. And also you're trying to wear their shoes and think like if it was you, how would you be thinking? And to me, I believe that uh, every change comes from, from your mindset. Once your mindset is positive, once you give out energy of any sort, you receive the same energy from these people. And it's bringing a lot of positive changes. As uh, we've been cycling around, you can hear people they're talking about this, people, media, they've been helping a lot. And um, even those places which we stopped, you can see how kids, you know, they've been happy and especially those kids which uh, has the disabilities and you can see a hope coming. Some people are actually surprised that uh, they can't do the same activity that Nobeto is doing and they are fully bodied able people. It's like Nobeto is achieving something much higher and greater to the disabled people. Like when we cycled with the people from Nema Artscraft, you could see the smiles you could see the mamas pushing hard and cycling like something like a rebirth, like something new had been, you know, given to them a chance that uh, they probably never got uh, when they were cycling around town by themselves. People who have everything in this world, who or think have everything just because they can walk, they've got a good job, they've got a house, they've got a family. They actually don't have everything. And it's 
interacting with those kids that we saw a different uh, view uh, to life and a different view of qualities, uh, the smiles, the happiness uh, when they got onto the horses, the feeling, touching and them becoming alive with their senses and the interaction amongst each other and yeah, they made us feel very at home and I've realized a new thing. We started from everything from scratch and like I said, it's a dream and we hold it with so much passion. Trying to prove to our brothers and sisters that anything is possible, whether you have it or you don't, but if you set your mind to it, it's that same ideology that Nobleto has. If you believe, you can achieve and we are aiming for much, much higher than where we are now.